go with another big week in championship wrestling. And I like the looks of what we've got, Dave. Lots right. of matches. We are going to open it up with tag team action today. Bill Dundee and Buddy Landell will be in here in just a few minutes. Also, so. Billy Travis will be here in a single match today, as will Dutch Mantel, Big Joe LaDuke, and a match we've been looking forward to. Tony Falk will be going against Jeff Jarrett. Should be interesting. Yes, sir. We had a little taste of that in here uh, extemporaneously. And son of a gun, I'll tell you one thing. I'm looking forward to that one, too. Also, I might add, Bill Dundee and Buddy Landell, former champions, each right. in their own particular right. We've got all of that and a bunch more, and we're going to get to it right after we take time out for this. a moment and we'll be seeing Bill Dundee and Buddy Landell. This is the first time this is the first This is how it all started the last night. You showing silly films of the Nature Boy and the Superstar. Well, we still run the show a little, Billy, and I want to tell you this is one interview that I am delighted to look forward to. We talk to you. Hey, come on. Go ahead. Make it a good one, because it'll be the last time in five years that you'll have a chance to do it. A thousand dollar fine and five years banished, but if you want Well, if you work it, when you, listen. Okay, okay, okay. we're gentlemen, we're gentlemen. He's a gentleman, and so am I, but I don't know much about you. Well, Jerry Calhoun ought to have that belt around his waist, because Jerry Lawler couldn't beat me in a monthly Sunday. Calhoun was right there, dog down behind me, fell over, fast counted me. Right? No, it wasn't no, right. He no, counted. No, no. It okay. Now, we're trying to conduct an interview. Okay, okay. Well, now, the other humiliating thing is Eddie Marlin's trying to make us preliminary, guys. He ain't even got us on main event. Doesn't want us on main event. Says we ain't fit. What do you mean we ain't fit, Marlin? We can whip everybody in here. We can beat Lawler if he's here. We'll beat him up. Mantell, we'll beat him up if he's here. Joel and Duke from our squad. The Midnight, whatever you call him, the Memphis Vice that got me so first in. Him and I can whoop any two men in here, Hello, including Bill. him and you, if you want to claim up in this hey, ring. Listen, nobody ever denied your guys' ability, but that still doesn't it's make us like your attitude Lance Russell, it's a conspiracy. The odds and the cards were stacked against us before we went out into the cage match. What is it? What are they trying to do? Make us preliminaries? You can't take main event wrestlers and make them preliminary. It just don't work that way. You think all we do is come out here and comb our hair and bust our teeth and climb in the ring? We fought hard for years to get where we was at, and you and Jerry and Marlon and everybody's trying to take it away from us. Well, it ain't going to work, what I'm talking about. That I saw. When Dutch Mantell ends up the winner, I watch the tape. You never saw him get pinned. They put a big black thing up That's over the screen. That's what Dutch right? me with that chain. Well, well, when the referee, Mantell they counted one, two, three. The thing that makes me mad is Jerry Calhoun and Jerry Lawler are best friends. When Calhoun got married, Lawler was his best man, right? What do you think okay. about that? So, that still didn't uh, take away from the fact there was a one two three you Who, guys let, let me ask you one question okay who won the elimination tag match main question right. i want to hear that in your words tell the camera who won the tag elimination well what's that got to do with the fact that's that the thing? question russell for the damn question okay you guys ended up with right. the... we beat up Lola, we beat up mantel and we can beat up anybody in here the well, you were put we'll show you that Buddy Landell, Bill Dundee, going into the ring now. Let's go to Davey. All right, Dundee and Landell roll into the ring. Against David Johnson and Jim Jamison, Dundee and Landell both jumped in there and jumped both Johnson and Jamison. Didn't give them a chance to even really get started. Everybody in the ring, referee Jerry Calhoun, call for the bell to be rung. So the match is underway. There go Jamison and Johnson, both thrown out of the ring. Dundee follows him down on the floor, picks up Jamison, throws him back under the bottom rope. Right hand shot at David Johnson. He's got him around the throat. Dan uh, Landell is working on Jim Jamison in the ring. It's Dundee pounding on David Johnson down at ringside. There you see him. Landell dropping down on Jim Jamison. Here's Dundee back inside. Now it's one against one. Buddy Landell against Jim Jamison. He calls for the boot. And well, it was for just about a second and a half. Yeah. Then yeah. Dundee's foot was in. Here's Dundee in. Right hand. 
across the chest, a fist, and another one. Bundy winding up and knocking him down. Dundee and Landell taking out their, their vicious ideas of what's justice on Jim Jamison right at the moment and his partner, David Johnson. Ooh. Boy, they turned him a flip with that one. And Landell smacked him. He's thrown into the turnbuckle. David Johnson trying to get through the rope. He does. Landell just rushes him down to the mat and leaves him for Dundee, who's right on top of him. Dundee and Landell double teaming at will here. David tried to fight his way in, but boy, I'll tell you, it was all downhill as a cover by Landell. No, he's not. He's I thought he was going for a pin. Dave. Yeah, it looked like it. What he ended up doing, though, he's got uh, he's got his arm and his, he's got his neck twisted so that he's down there at a very weird angle. He's just holding him there. The shoulders uh, not down at right shoulder, long way from the mat. Now he breaks out of that hole. Landell picks Johnson up over to the corner. The tag on Bill Dundee. The double elbow. Johnson and Jamison have not had a chance in this no. match from the, before the opening bell. When Dundee and Landell rolled into the ring, with both fists flying. Oh, man. Dundee and Landell letting their venom just spew out over anybody that's around. They think they had injustice against them. Boy, I tell you. Well, they went at two minutes 33 seconds of time, but boy, they're satisfied as they have beat up on David Johnson and Jim Jamison here. Well, we got more of it coming up. We'll be back with the international heavyweight champ Billy Travis in just a moment. ring here in just a moment on championship wrestling brother you better stay tuned for this one because i'll tell you what there is more going on than you can just shake a stick at it's something else big main event coming up wednesday night in evansville at the coliseum is going to be and listen to this bill dundee and buddy landell going against joe LaDuke and jeff jarrett now when you see the rest of the show you will understand exactly what happened in this match Oh, so the boy wants to be arrested, brother. Well, where I come, the gun old saying, if you want to learn to swim, you dive into the water, and you've dove in, sport, way up over your head. Now, I'm not taking nothing off you, kid. You've got a lot of heart just wanting to be arrested. Then you got some big lumberjack. It's big and bad at knocking down trees, daddy, but the trees don't do nothing but stand there, LaDuke. The I'm going to be fighting you, and this guy is going to be fighting you. Now, I'm not selling you short, but I don't care. There's not a man of living can beat two wrestlers. I don't care if it's you, LaDuke. I don't care who it is. There isn't one man in this God's green earth can and beat two athletes like the nature boy and the superstar so jerry jared jeff jared i'm taking you out jack for one punch throwing you out over the top rope then the nature boy and the superstars taking care of you leduc because we don't like nothing you stand for boy well you know leduc is awful strong why well, that don't make no difference he's bad but bad breath ain't everything right lance russell let me tell you something leduc you got in on a personal matter jeff jared i'll give credit where credit's due you got a hell of a lot of guts boy because it ain't long ago i know where you're coming from i wanted to be a wrestler and they slapped me around knocked me around too and i know exactly where you're coming from but joe leduc you're embarrassing the whole canadian nation daddy you're just like a stupid old polack do you think for one minute that we're going to stand out there and let you chop and hit on us like a tree like bill said no, we're not. And you come out here trying to impress everybody by letting 10 men pull you apart. Well, everybody in the world knows that Dundee and a superstar and the nature boy can let 20 and 30 men pull us apart. But Duke, you stuck your nose in where it don't belong. We're going to take you out. Okay, we're ready to go. Bell time. And Billy Travis, the international heavyweight champ, pulls off the belt. And he is underway with Keith Eric. 
Keith wrestles out of Memphis, Tennessee. Billy Travis making his home now in Lexington, Kentucky. Travis dropping down hard with that leg and then goes into the bar. Doubles under, goes on top with a wrist lock. Steps behind, trips him down, and back into that arm bar. Travis, very active, Dave. Billy using some moves here. He has really developed into a terrific wrestler as the international belt, which he wears a test. Always had good natural ability, but uh, working with some good partners has really turned him into a finesse wrestler, too. We uh, have mentioned it on numerous occasions, but isn't it amazing when you, it's, it's like they talk about on the golf tour, when you win that first one, which is so hard to do, the confidence that it can give you. It's the same thing with winning a belt. It really just makes a different person. Look at that. Ooh. in control here against Keith Eric. Eric has been kept off balance throughout the match. We're about a minute and a half into it. It's a non-title match, by the way. The belt is not at stake. Monkey flip out of the corner. Keith Eric feels the open right hand across the chest. Oh, Billy Travis got in a little close, and Eric got him with a boot. Oh, Pops him down to the mat. Eric was battling his way back, and Billy could see him grit his teeth when he nailed him in the midsection to turn it. Double hands in. Right off his feet. Eric is under the... Oh, look out. All right. Gundy and Landell jumping Billy Travis. That's Keith Eric thrown over the ropes by Landell. Two against one here. Travis had the match well in hand. Landell, figure four leg lock. Dutch Mantel and the bullwhip clean the ring up. Billy Travis going to get the win by disqualification. Dutch over talking to him. Boy, that, well, Billy, Billy, as you said, had it in the hand, but uh, they not only jumped Travis and stayed with him, but they threw Eric right out of the ring yeah, over, over the, the top, top rope. rope. So, uh... Dutch comes in with Shoe Baby, and he runs uh, Dundee and Landell out of there. Not before they they messed up a, a good one. Uh, so the winner will be Billy Travis. Tony Falk. Here comes Tony Falk and Ab Abdul uh, Gaddafi. Look over to Land. Abdul Gaddafi and Tony Falk. Tony, a lot of people uh, are disappointed in you, Tony. They thought by now you'd have that first win. Hey, I want to talk about something else right now. And I get to that later, but what I want to talk about right now, you know, Lance Russell, this last week I've been a very busy man. I was contacted by the Secretary of State of Libya, Gaddafi's agent and manager, and they've told me there's been a problem here. They said that the promoters, the capitalist American pigs, have been robbing this guy blind. They told me, they asked me, would I look into all of his business affairs from now on? They said if I was to take this job, I would be rewarded handsomely. I told him, sure, if the price is right, I would be glad to. You see this right here, Lance Russell? This is what makes the world go around. And I said if the price is right, I'd be glad to look at the conductor. Upstanding move, I'm certain, Tony. So from now on out, Tony Falk is handling all of his personal <laughs> business, all of his contract negotiations. I will be right there to make sure he gets a fair shake. Mm -hmm. Well, if he thought he was in trouble before, look Shut out. Shut up. Shut up about this. Now, you know dirty, this dirty Dutch man tell. You know, he's afraid to give Buddy Landell a title shot, a rematch, you know. 
So he thinks he can take Gaddafi in there and just run right through him. But I'll tell you something right now, Dutch Mantel, that's not going to happen because this man can handle himself in the ring with the very best in the sport of professional wrestling. I promise you, Lance Russell, I will never interfere in any of his matches. I will sit right there and advise him. And I hope him. that's true. So he doesn't need any help from me or no one else. But Dutch Mantel, you think you're just going to get Gaddafi in there and it's going to be all over. But let me tell you something. Gaddafi is going to take that strap from you, brother. Mid-America Challenge will be offered by Gaddafi to Dutch Mantel. No question about that, Tony. That's all we have to say right now. Okay. Tony Falk making the announcement. He is now the advisor to Abdul Gaddafi. And uh, took time to knock Dutch Mantel. David, we're about ready for it. In the ring right now is Dutch Mantel. He's going against the Masked Patriot. Mantel says, all right, time to go to school here. A lesson in wrestling for the Patriot. Mantel, round behind him. Let's fly with a broad arm across the chest. Dutch Mantel going after the mask. The Patriot able to roll under the ropes. Yeah, the crowd says, go ahead. If you get a chance, take that mask off of him, Dutch. Oil Trough, Texas, pride and joy, Dutch Mantel. The mask Patriot off the rope, clothesline by the Dutchman. Yeah, the crowd says, take it off. The Patriot rolls out of the ring again. Uh, he's issuing a complaint to the referee about Dutch trying to remove the mask. Uh, that isn't the only complaint. <laughs> yeah, he's Dutch got more complaints. beating on him pretty good. <laughs> That's right. Hey. Take off the mask, they're saying. Dutch content to let him have it on the front of that mask with a right hand. Dutchman picks him up. Ooh, yes. Kind of a reverse atomic knee as he drops the Patriot down, and he gets under the bottom rope, slides out onto the floor, and Mantell totally dominant thus far in this match. Minute 50 seconds gone, and it has been all Dutch Mantell. Got the left arm. We'll be seeing a brand new team of Pat Tanaka and Jeff Young a little later in championship wrestling. And we'll be seeing hustler Rip Rogers. Haven't seen him in quite some time. Uh, no, not again. Dundee and Landell after Mantell. Well, they said a little earlier, if they saw Mantell or they saw Lawler, they were going to have him. Whichever one they could catch, or both of them. They've got Mantell down in the ring, and they're double-teaming him. Here comes Billy Travis with a chair. And out the door go Dundee and Landell. The winner will be Dutch Mantell with the interference, so... The Dutchman racks up a victory the hard way. Two minutes, 19 seconds the time as Dutch was jumped by Dundee and Landell. The referee immediately disqualified the masked Patriot, even though he was also thrown out of the ring. I can see the Dutchman's mind running. He's filing that away. He yeah. will not forget that little incident right there. Mantell the winner. Time out, and we'll be back with more action. seconds of your time, my friend, to tell you about the action coming up down at the Coliseum Wednesday night. You'll want to make your plans to be there. Going to be a whale of a main event, but also some outstanding other bouts. A full card of five action-packed mounts. 
Pat Rose goes against Paul Diamond in the opening match, and it'll be Tony Falk facing Tojo Yamamoto. Interesting tag bout when J.D. Costello's mod squad will be facing Pat Tanaka and Jeff Young, an outstanding young team, and a Mid-America title match. Yowza, Dutch Mantel is putting it on the line. His opponent is going to be the big Abdul Gaddafi wrestling out of Libya. And then the main event. Mm, we told you, this one kind of a weird one. Bill Dundee and Buddy Landell have gotten into a personal matter with Jeff Jarrett and Joe LaDuke. And that's exactly what that main event's going to be. A tag match that's going to have experience going against the youth and real strength. You'll want to see it Wednesday night, Evansville Coliseum. So the winner is Jerry Lawler. Now, we done told you. We done whooped everybody on the card. Now, you got Bill Rose in there, big, rough, tough guy. Now, you got Joe LaDuke coming yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Big old strong guy. Yeah, the yeah. elevator don't go all the way to the top, man. He's big and strong, and he was pulling them people apart. Hey, man, me and Douglas could have done 20. We could have done 20. So, Joe, Joe, Joe. Let us have a well, match. If you want to talk about so pathetic, you got the top talent here. We done beat everybody up in the territory, and then you got us almost opening the card Monday night. Joe's a little scared. He ain't coming out here because we're here. He's scared. He ain't got the sense, God give a good boy. He is so stupid. I, I just have a feeling that Joe LaDuke is not afraid. No, no. Guy you was, baby. Yeah, hey, you God, were. Hey, baby. Uh -huh. Man, look at that. Bill, you ever see anything like that before in your life? Hey, man. Hey, Joe, how's it going, baby? What's going on? Okay. Look here, Joe. What? Joe, no, no, no. All right. What? Hey. 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 You don't say, stay there and talk to me, okay? No, I wrestle. No, you do what I tell you, Joe. You stay there. Duke goes after Dundee. Dundee, chain and all, looked at Joe LaDuke and left. Now LaDuke goes to work against Bill Rose. That's the way the match had been scheduled. Whoa. Match lasts five seconds. That was the official time. The action lasted longer, but when LaDuke got in there, threw Dundee off of him like a light sack of potatoes, I'll tell you. Dundee and, and Landell decided it's a good time yeah. to leave. Boy, Big Joe doesn't like anybody interfering with him or his matches, as we just saw here. When he did get in there, the, the bell sounded, and again, five seconds is the official time of that match as Ledoux gets the pin. And there he goes. Landell, Landell shoves him over here and says, you stay here, you do what I say. <laughs> Wham! And Landell goes flying back over here. Did you That's, see him throw Dundee? Yeah, he threw him halfway across. He just picked him up and threw him over there, yeah. I don't think there's any question who the winner, and I don't think that he was afraid of Dundee and Landell. The winner, Joe LaDuke, back in a moment. <laughs> Well, we're looking forward to this, too. Tony Falk is coming in right now. His opponent today is young Jeff Jarrett. Jarrett is brand spanking new as a professional wrestler. He's got a lot of filling out. Okay, Tony, okay. Tony Falk got something on his mind, and I hope it's wrestling. Lance Russell, you know I have been a victim of the biggest conspiracy around here. You know when I signed that contract to go in the ring with Jeff Jarrett, it said one fall, 20-minute time limit. When they announced the match when I was in the middle of the ring, it said one fall, 20-minute time limit. Yes, it did. I know what it said. I read the contract. Anyway, Lance Russell, so I was going to teach this boy a wrestling lesson, just like I said I was going to. I was just putting all my fancy takedowns on him, and I was really rubbing his face in that mat. Then when I decided, you know, to really give him a beat and really pour it on, right when I was in the middle of it, they rang the bell. They said the time was up. That's right, because it was a one-fall, ten-minute time. I know what the contract said. 
Just so you know what it is today, one fall, 15 that's what, minutes. That's, that's exactly what I want to know. Is. That's what I want to know. You mean this is a one fall, 15 minute time? What is it? Here's my friend, the superstar. Here's my friend. If he said it was 120, Russell, it was 120. Because just like happened to him, just like happened to us, get a promotion, and these old deep pockets, Eddie Marlin's grandfather, told you to ring the bell if the kid was getting hurt, right or not? No, he did Jerry not. Calhoun goes down behind me and got me to be the referee, right? All right, Billy. Now, we've been through that all, right. all one time. Well, now, now you know where it. we're going. So now, all we can say is, Tony, welcome to the club, brother. And Lance Russell is the head of it. The if Sheriff it worth, Club, hey, baby. is it worth five years, man? Hey, all right. Now, you guys, five years. It may be worth going. five, and you'll go too with him. How do you It might be worth it for me, too. If we decide to go out, we're sure. taking you all the way up. Well, I'll tell you this. We ain't going to run it in this match, Tony. You go in there and beat him up for nine minutes and pin him about the nine-minute mark, okay? Now, 15 minutes. Because this punk shouldn't even be in the wrestling business. Right, I'm going to take care of that right now. Man. Tony, please do. Will you please go to... You see that sugar hole that he had on, he had on that black yeah. guy before? Put it on him. His eyes will start bugging and hold him. And don't put it on him. Thank you. Send them on, Billy and Dutch. They're leaving. We're not going to stay out. All we was going to do was run. We got to go back Saturday. They can go back. Get rid of them. Guys, nervous enough without y'all stepping out here wanting to interfere. Oh, oh, hey, you so can't what, do that. Martin? Wasn't you ever nervous in your first match? That's right. I was nervous in every one of them, but you're not going to be out here doing this. Well, Tony Falk can be here with us. Well, there they go. Thank goodness. All right. Got rid of the extra baggage that was here. Dundee and Landell have gone, and there go Dutch Mantell, Billy Travis. Yeah, a little, uh, little handshake for Jeff Jarrett up there. Tony Falk finally in the ring after all the conversation about it. And it is one full 15-minute time limit. Here we go. Jeff Jarrett, Neil with a right fist as Falk grabs him, slams his head into the top turnbuckle. Jeff Jarrett, brand new in the wrestling business. He's given away a lot of weight. He's given away a lot of experience in there. But this kid is a really fine athlete. Jeff is an outstanding basketball player. He uh, goes to Aquinas in Nashville and was nominated for the uh, Academic All-American just yesterday, Dave. Oh, Very right. fine honor for an outstanding young man. He's in trouble right at the moment, but uh, I'll tell you one thing. You're not going to see him giving up on anything. He's got all heart. He showed a lot of mistakes the first time we saw him, but, brother, he showed a lot of heart. Nice this. move by Jeff Jarrett. He reverses Falk into the turnbuckle and dumps him over his back as he came out of the corner. One minute of action gone. Tony Falk, right fist. Jeff Jarrett, back on the ropes. Tony Falk using that right hand. Falk, back to the rope. Climbs up on the middle one. Leaps down and plants a foot across the chest. Falk, making all the right wrestling moves. This time, to humiliate him, he dumped him out on the floor right through the ropes. But if Falk thinks he's going to turn around and walk away, I can tell you he's got another thing coming. Yeah. Oh, nice move. He got it. He got it. Tony Falk makes one of his notorious mistakes. Jeff Jarrett is the winner. Dundee and Landell jump Jeff Jarrett. And Falk, Gaddafi, and Pat Rose have the door blocked to prevent help from coming in from the dressing room. They're holding the door over there so they can't get in to help Jeff out as Dundee slams him down. Oh, you guys are so brave. 
trying to push the door in over there, Dave, to get in. Why don't the two of you get out of here? Landell going with a full Boston Crab on him. And Jeff Jarrett is just at the mercy of Dundee and Landell. Dundee off the ropes all the way to the middle of the ring. Racked him with that leg. Paul Gaddafi and Pat Rose still holding the door to keep help out. Here comes Joe, just what we need. But, oh, look at this! Let's go! Well, Duke went after Dundee and Landell. Oh, I thought LeDuc was going to come in and add misery to what Jeff Garrett has already experienced. He is out cold in the ring. And Falk trying to sneak up. Gets nailed back down. And here comes Dutch Mantel, Billy Travis. And LeDuc came in and turned it. Boy, I thought LeDuc was heading in there Boy, to do yeah, what too. he does best, and that's beat up on people. Much to our surprise, he nailed Dundee, he nailed Landell. And LeDuc, I cannot imagine why, with well, LeDuc's reputation, came in and really saved Jarrett, picks him up now. He's carrying him out the door as Eddie Marlin, Travis, and Dutch Mantel go. Good night. You know, I don't understand it. I mean, that is certainly not typical of Joe LeDuc that we know. No, but I, I think Joe was upset with Dundee and Landell to begin with there. And uh, well, I don't they know. had that Maybe. little confrontation out here. If there's any way that they're here, LeDuc, out there, I'd like to get him back out. I'm very curious about the move of Joe LaDuke, I'm very happy that he came rolling in there. Hey, Joe. Just a second, Joe. I just want to ask you one thing. Uh, I don't want to get in any argument with you. I know that you and I have had some problems, and I've seen you beat up on some guys unmercifully. What in the world, Joe, possessed you to come in here and... and and help Jeff Jarrett out uh, with Dundee and Landell. You know, Lance Russell, whenever I come to this area or anywhere in the world where I wrestle, I don't take no quarters. I don't give any. I don't mind beating on people. I don't mind hurting people. But I have never... I have never hurt a boy. And Dundee and Landell. You're telling a lot of people. You're trying to move a lot of people around. You are not going to take Joe Duke's place and fight my battles because Jonah Duke can take care of his own self because I like to wrestle, Lance Russell. I like to fight. I like to drink beer. I like everything that's good in the world. Those big men, Dundee and Landale. You want to beat on boys? tell you something you want to beat on boys I'm going to ask the promoter here I'm going to ask a promoter to give you a chance to beat on boys because you know something that's Russell when I first started wrestling I didn't learn wrestling in the woods chopping trees I learned in the ring get it myself beat on the head until I understand that you don't learn how to be a wrestler in the gym. You don't learn how to play basketball in the gym. You don't learn how to play football unless you get tackled. 
Jeff Jarrett. Here's a message from the Duke. In the ring is where you learn. No, oh, the Duke. With the uh, interesting. Hey, Joe, anywhere you want to, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Where do I go now? Huh? Uh, you go ahead and pick the place, Joe. Yes, That's sir. Right. And it's all you. What a, what a, really a complex guy for a guy who seems to be so sad. Here's a guy in his own logic. He comes in, he nails Dundee, he nails, he nails Landell, and yet he's standing there and he's telling Jarrett he's not going to fight his battles for him because the only place he's going to learn it is right there in the ring. Makes a lot of sense in that respect. Maybe the most sense I ever heard Joe make. We're going to take time out. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Still some more of that action to go, and we'll get to it in just a moment. I told you, a full card of action coming up, and it's going to be paid off with a, a main event tag match you're going to find to be most interesting. Bill Dundee, Buddy Landell will be facing the team of Joe LaDuke and Jeff Jarrett. Jeff, i got to say, uh, you're in with both feet now, and you're going in there against two very, very tough, experienced guys. Yes, sir, Lance. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be able to learn to wrestle unless I get in that ring and fight. And Dundee said, I won't, can't learn to swim till I get in the water. Wednesday night, I'm going to try, I'm going to try my best. I can't promise you that I can beat this team, but I can promise you one thing, I'll never give up. Yeah, I and I sure that. do appreciate that Joe's asked me to be his partner. Joe, you got in here and uh, you're taking the young fella under your wing, you know? I don't want nobody to think that I'm a nice guy just because I'm Jeff Jarrett's partner. Is that clear from now on? This is the way it is. Now, Billy Dundee and Buddy Landale, you're a big talker, you have big mouth, and you also have something else big that I'm gonna kick myself. That's right, I asked this gentleman to be my partner for only one reason, and you said it, Dundee. You want to know how to swim, you got to dive in the water. You want to know how to play basketball, you got to get yourself kicked from behind. You want to play football, it's the same thing. It's doggy dog, like they say it in football. You want to learn how to wrestle, you got to step in that ring and face guys like you. I didn't ask Jeff to go out there and win the match. What I ask you, Jeff, is to go out there and not to get beat. And that's all, because I'll, I'll take care of the rest. Wednesday night. Okay, we're ready to go with our next bow. This one's gonna be Hustler Rip Rogers making his first appearance in a long time. Rip? That's right, Hustler Rip Rogers is here. Get that camera on me. I'm the star around this place. I've wrestled in every major arena, United States of America, Europe, you name it, I've been there. You know, I'm not one to brag on myself, but I am a former Florida heavyweight champion. I have held the Southeastern title, one half the National Tag Team Championship, Pacific Coast heavyweight champion, Texas heavyweight champion, you name it, I've been there and I've done it. And let me tell you one thing, Lance Russell, I want to say hi to my mommy, my daddy, my grandma, and everybody in Seymour, Indiana, because I am the man that put Seymour, Indiana on the map. I'm here in the Mid-South, baby, and I'm going to make a name for myself. Thank you very much. There's the hustler, Rip Rogers, making his first appearance in a long time on Championship Wrestling Day. Yes, indeed. Well, he's, uh, he's held some titles and been some places, no doubt about it. And yeah, we're going to get uh, get a look at him right here as he goes against David Haskins. David, former collegiate football player, weighs in about 235, good size on him. Rip Rogers. Yeah. He's got things in hand here. Wasn't there some 
fellow named Mellencamp from Seymour, Indiana, or some kind of name like that. Seems to me that's where most people looking at a map uh, discovered Seymour, Indiana, from uh, John Cougar Mellencamp. Well, we, we, we didn't know that it was Rick Rogers that no. put it on the map. No, I didn't, uh, didn't until just a moment ago when he said that, as a matter of fact. Rip Rogers doesn't lack the confidence, I'll guarantee you that. He grabs David Haskins, slams his head into the top turnbuckle, and nailed him in the back while he was over there. Who's that, baby? Rip Rogers drops down with the upper arm. He's got Haskins on the map, and he steps on him. Rogers. Oh. He smacked Haskins down to the mat and back in a corner. Look out, there he goes out of the ring. Rip Rogers threw him between the ropes. Haskins is down on the floor. Rip Rogers out of the ring. Yeah, just helping him, he says. I'm just going to help him. Yeah. A lot of help there. Thanks. Broad arm in the back. He picks Haskins up, rolls him under the bottom rope, and now Rip Rogers coming back in the ring. Seymour, Indiana, as he told you, he's a former Florida heavyweight champion, former Southeastern champion, Pacific Coast champion. He's here holding no belt, but he's determined, he says, to make a name for himself. He went for a cover. Referee started the count, and he says, uh-uh, not yet. He picked Haskins up. The suplex by Rip Rogers. Yeah. Taking a little time to show off for the camera. Counts to one, two, and he picks him up at the two count. Rip Rogers refusing to go for the three count against David Haskins. He's had him in position twice where he probably could have gotten the count of three. But he broke it at one the first time and two the second time. And now he's just punishing David Haskins. Hangs him up on the top rope. Now flips him back into the middle of the ring. Rip Rogers puts Haskins into the ropes. Close lines him coming off of there, and Haskins in serious trouble. Rip Rogers with the Boston Crab. Haskins has to give it up. The Boston Crab by Rip Rogers. He got a good one on Haskins, but he had Haskins in pretty bad shape to begin with as he'd been really working him over for over three minutes. Three minutes, 21 seconds is the time, and Rip Rogers has, in fact, started making a name for himself in this territory around here as he gets the victory here in convincing style. Take a look at it. Boston Crab, a hole that uh, really we haven't seen much of in recent years, but uh, at one time a very popular hole and devastating, let me tell you. There he is. You can see he turns him over, and watch. He'll, he bends the legs back and pulls back, which puts tremendous pressure on the lower back. Uh, Haskins had to give it up, and Rip Rogers with the win. Boy, you bet you there. You're right. You don't see too much of it anymore. Killer Carl Kowalski uh, used that many years years ago mm -hmm. and hey we're about ready to go we're just going to continue on right here with our next one uh, as the jackets come off this will be an introduction to a brand new team here Dave that's right the team of Pat Tanaka and Jeff Young they're over on the right portion of your screen Jeff Young is uh, staying in the ring right now against Pat Rose Jeff's out of Chattanooga Tennessee his partner Pat Tanaka is from Hawaii there's Jeff Young with Rose backed under the ropes. In the corner of Pat Rose and his partner, Abdul Gaddafi, is the one and only Tony Falk. Just walked into your picture right there. We're trying to find a chair for him. I would feel better if he was sitting down. Yes. Jeff Young. Grabbed by Pat Rose. Head slammed into the turnbuckle, and Pat Rose makes the tag. Here's Abdul Gaddafi from Libya. Boy, this guy is big. He is, Now, yes. Jeff Young is a beautifully built young man, but let me tell you, this Gaddafi is just, oh, he hit the deck. 
He got a move put on him there. Young uh, giving away the weight, but he used Gaddafi's weight against him there as he moved, and Gaddafi, with gravity, had nowhere to go but into the mat. Some hair pulling by Gaddafi. Minute and a half gone in the action. Expiration of time match underway here. Tony Falk at ringside, now being seated. Tag on Pat Rose. And Pat Rose, who is a mugger, brother, he, he will ambush you. It's tossed over a nice. Young getting closer to his partner over there. He needs to really take time out and give Pat Tanaka a tag. Tanaka we have not seen as yet on our championship wrestling camera. There's the tag and you'll get your chance. From Hawaii, here comes Tanaka. Tanaka, apparently skilled in the martial arts as he comes in with a fine chop as he blasted Pat Rose. Pat Rose has him tied up, kind of slowing down, keep those arms and the open hands from flying quite so fast. Off the rope, shoulder, but both of them hit the mat hard. Both of them back on their feet. Tanaka waits to chop Pat Rose. Okay, he's using a lot of chops, yeah. Dave, so far. Head butts, and there's a tag on Jeff Young. Jeff Young back in. Young and Rose struggling to gain advantage on each other. Young uh, ends up with the upper hand for the moment, but Pat Rose now backs him into the ropes, fires him across the way. Young grabbed from behind by Tony Falk down on the floor. Referee right there said, hey. Less than two minutes to go. Referee said, leave him alone and sit down in that chair over there. A suplex by Pat Rose. Jeff Young count of two, but he breaks out of it at the two count. Pat Rose grabs him, heads for the corner, and the tag on Rose's partner, Abdul Gaddafi. Gaddafi uses the weight and muscle. Ooh, what a clothesline on Jeff Young. Follows it up with a vigorous chokehold. Reverie trying to physically remove him from his opponent there. And this time an elbow. The slam by Gadolfi. Tag made and Pat Rose comes in. They double team here against Jeff Young. Our time is fast running out on this match, and it's been a good one so far. They've been very, very even match. Sure has. Jeff Young with a nice forward roll over to the corner to get the tag on his partner, Pat Tanaka, and look at him go with a hand fly. Gaddafi going at it. Pat Rose and Tanaka. Young with a good drop kick. Drop kicks Gaddafi. Gaddafi leaves. He steps out of the ring. Or rolls out of the ring. Time has expired. That is it. Time is up. Time is out. Well, I wish we had another five or six oh, minutes for that one or it. a half hour. What a spirited son of a gun that one was. Woo. We'll take time out. Check our time and be back in a moment. Yeah, oh boy, I hated no, to good. have to bring that one to a halt right then and there. That's uh, one of those situations where we're getting our very first look at a new team. We'd heard a little about them. To, to tell you the honest truth, they do not have the reputation as being the national tag team champions. But uh, they got a good reputation. Uh, young fellas, uh, Jeff Young and, and Pat Tanaka. And son of a gun, we had a great match going in there, didn't we, Davey? Well, I tell you what, they didn't back up an inch. Now, they're going against a couple of very experienced guys, oh, and Abdul yeah. Gaddafi and uh, Pat Rose. And, you know, Rose comes wading in there, and he never backs up. Well, when he walked in there today, he found two guys uh, going against him that didn't back up either, and Tanaka and, uh, and Jeff Young. Young, 
uh, doesn't have the weight that uh, that either Rose or Godolphy has, but boy, he came in there was put some moves on him, and uh, he has has good athletic ability. Boy, he, he does it in there in that match. Yeah. Earlier today, we had Bill Dundee and Buddy Landell in here. They were going against a team that they just overpowered in about two and a half minutes. They were a little bit upset about some of the bookings around the territory that uh, maybe they weren't uh, always main events, and they would they started complaining about that from time to time. Said they could beat anybody. Well, Billy Travis was going against Keith Eric. Billy had the match pretty well in hand, but Landell and Dundee came in and interfered. Right Travis in. wins it by disqualification. Dutch Mantell going against the Patriot. He had that one well in hand, but Bill Dundee and Buddy Landell came in. Uh, disqualification occurred. Dutch Mantell does get the victory. Joe LaDuke against Bill Rose. Now in this one, Landell and Dundee <laughs> came in and they said, Joe, come over here. Landell said, L just listen to what I have to say here and I'll tell you, uh, tell you how everything is going to go here as Bill goes in and beats up on this guy for you. Well, Joe shoves, uh, Landell put his hands on Joe LaDuke and LaDuke shoved Landell about six, seven feet over here. <laughs> right out of the way. Jumps into the ring, yep. picks Dundee up and throws him out. The bell sounds, he pins Bill Rose in five seconds and then right back to talk to Dundee and Landell. So that uh, kind of cleared them out for a while anyway. <laughs> then it was uh, Jeff Jarrett uh, winning over Tony Falk. There was more interference there. Rip Rogers got a victory here today over David Haskins. And then the match was a draw. We just talked about Pat Tanaka, Jeff Young against Pat Rose and Abdul Gaddafi. And the Duke did come in and save Jeff Jarrett, in sure there, which was a stunning surprise. But we were awfully glad to see it at that point. Hey, we've talked ourselves right out of time. Plenty of action today. And we hope maybe you'll come back next week. And until we see you at that time, for Dave Brown, Lance Russell saying bye-bye, everybody. Sponsors on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of championship wrestling.